believe it's been a year since the world's first smartphone with a borderless display rocked our world? Before LG, Samsung, Essential, and very soon Apple, it was actually Xiaomi that gave us a taste of what the future of smartphones would look like. Now, a year later, the Mi Mix is back, not just a concept phone anymore. This is our Xiaomi Mi Mix 2, hands on. Before we dive in, a quick disclaimer is in order. In 2014 and 2016, Sharp announced two phones, the Aquas Crystal and the Corner R, which had tiny bezels on its top and sides, but large chins. Those phones didn't quite take off. It was this phone, the original Mi Mix, announced in October of last year, that made waves because of its front that was almost all display. This is that phone's successor, the Mi Mix 2. You'll find this year's phone is much smaller and narrower. If last year Xiaomi called the Mix a concept phone, the Mix 2 is most definitely meant to be more usable. The phone is no longer unwieldy and fits in the hand better. Its corners are also rounder. The phone now has an 18 by 9 aspect ratio, which is quickly becoming a trend. Apart from its size, there are some adjustments here and there. Hidden up top over here is an earpiece. Yep, that's a feature. Last year, the phone didn't have one. Instead, it used some high-tech magic to send sound waves to the glass display. While it worked, it didn't quite work out. Phone calls sound better on the Mi Mix 2, as they should. In photos and in video, the rounded corners make the bezels look slightly bigger, but in person, they're pretty much edge-hugging. The bottom chin is still there, but shorter thanks to a smaller selfie camera module. Unfortunately, it's in the same unpopular spot. Selfies aren't quite the same from here. You can flip the phone around to get the angles we're used to, but it still doesn't work with Snapchat and Instagram. One cool thing, however, is a black lens coating that makes the camera blend in with the rest of the display. On its back is the phone's 12 megapixel main camera. One, not two, like Xiaomi's Mi 6 flagship. The camera has a lovely 18K gold trim around it, but it protrudes from the phone. Below that is a fingerprint sensor, one of the fastest we've tried in recent memory. And now, thanks to its size, totally reachable, even by short fingers. Physical buttons are all on the right side, a volume rocker and a power button. On the left, a dual nano SIM card tray. There is no micro SD card slot, so you're stuck with internal storage. The phone comes in 64, 128, and 256 gig configurations. There's also no headphone jack. Instead, Xiaomi ships the Mi Mix 2 with a dongle. Like on all Xiaomi phones, headphones are not included in the box. On the bottom of the phone, speaker grills, and a USB-C port. Build materials remain the same, an aluminum frame, and a ceramic back. There's also a special edition model that's carved out of a single piece of ceramic. This more premium model comes in black too, but we really love the all-white version. Xiaomi says it's meant to be reminiscent of a perfect piece of jade from heaven. As Xiaomi's true flagship, it's not surprising the Mi Mix 2 has all top-of-the-line specs, a Snapdragon 835 processor, and 6GB of RAM. The UI is snappy and responsive, games run fine, and multitasking in our tests is hiccup-free. You'll have to wait for our review to find out how its 3400mAh battery fares. But in our early time with the phone, our battery lasted us a full day while shooting around Beijing. And the phone supports Quick Charge 3.0 for quick top-ups. Out of the box, the phone runs Android Nougat with the new MIUI 9 skin, which promises to be snappier. It's also got a few nifty features, like split-screen mode. You just tap on the multitasking button and pick two apps to run side-by-side. While we wish the Mi Mix 2 would have had two dual cameras, its 12-megapixel camera is no slouch. Check out these samples we took around Beijing. Photos look pretty good, actually. The phone comes with 4-axis optical image stabilization. To test it out, we shot this short video clip while on a rickshaw ride around the city. And of course, here's what selfies look like. Out in the sun, 
and in more dimly lit places. So, is the Mi Mix 2 your gadget match? We'll reserve judgment until we've had time for a full review. On its own merits, the Mi Mix 2 is a great phone, but what sets it apart is its price tag. In China, the phone starts at 3,299 Chinese yuan. That's about 500 US dollars, which makes it significantly cheaper than any other bezel-less smartphone from 2017. On top of that, the phone supports an unprecedented 43 bands, meaning it should theoretically work with the most number of cell networks anywhere in the world. Clearly, this phone is meant to appeal to a broader global market. And with smartphone prices going up across the board, it's nice to see a solid bezel-less challenger at an affordable price point. And that was our Mi Mix 2 hands-on. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.